This is an example of how Italian cast on, tubular cast on looks like. It's quite stretchy, but holds the shape. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Christina from stylishknitting.com and in today's video I will show you the Italian tubular cast on. This works very good for ribbing one by one and two by two. I will show you also what to do if you want to knit tubular um, cast on method in the round. Also show how to make ribbing two by two because it's not very obvious after Italian cast on. So keep watching. The Italian tubular cast on looks like this and this cast on is with simple Italian cast on. What's the difference? I will show you. That's why I call it tubular because it's like a tube inside. Looks like a, it, it, if you would unravel it would have the little hole going through. You could even could get the needle inside. There you go. Looks like a tube. And we'll start with the same Italian custard. I have the separate video specifically where I talk about this Italian cast on and I showed you really slow and in this video I will just show you the quick way because uh, for this is most important the uh, how you do the next rows but we start the same with Italian so You can, as I said in my previous video about the telling cast on, then I, I look which uh, yarn comes on the bottom and I know that from there I need to work now from this way. And you create these bumps and which represents the pearl stitches and these are the uh, knit stitches so I will show you one more time how a pearl stitch is made cast on stitch because this is now underneath so I know I have to go from um, from that side where the yarn is underneath I go under both strands I come back through the middle and I grab this yarn which is around my thumb and I twist it and I make this pearl bump. Now I go from the other side and this is much easier because I need to go on only under one strand and I grab this yarn around my index finger and I made a knit cast on stitch and I continue until I get the desired amount of stitches I will show you how to knit this tubular cast on in the round. That's why I need uh, ribbing two by two because I will show you what to do if you want to use it for ribbing two by two. Four, 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 and let's say I will do two more. And the last, I always do just simple. I just secure the stitches like a long tail cast on so there you go I have these cast on stitches now the next two rows you will have to uh, look what stitch it is it's actually with the bump it means it's a pair of stitch with this line which is going sort of all around the cast on this is the knit stitch. First stitch I usually we actually can knit or I just slip. Let's knit it this time. Now here I have this little bump. It means I it's a pearl stitch and when it's pearl stitch we just slip as to pearl with the yarn in front. We just leave it just like that. And the knit stitch we knit again. We see a pearl stitch with the bump underneath, so we slip it as 
pearl wise, like as the pearl, and with the yarn in front. Again, this is the knit stitch. Here we see it tells us it's the pearl. We just slip it as the pearl with yarn in front, knit, slip it, yarn in front, knit, slip it, yarn in front, knit. And we do like this until end of the row. When we finish our first row of this tubular custom, we turn our work and we do the same on the other side because sort of we knitted one side because we slipped one stitch and now we do the same on the other side. Again, I see this is a pearl. The pearl stitches we slip pearl wise with yarn in front. The knit stitches we knit and we work like this until end of the row. After our telling cast on and two two rows of these slipped stitches with yarn in front and the knit stitches, two rows on each side. We have this very nice cast on edge. If you would be uh, knitting flat, then for ribbing one by one, you would start the ribbing from row number three, and which would be, you could see right, this is a knit stitch, pearl stitch, knit stitch, and you would continue just like that. For ribbing two by two, we need to do as follow. Um, let's say two by two, I start with the knit stitch. Now, if I want two by two, then I should have a knit stitch here, but I have this pearl stitch. That's not a problem. What I do, we need uh, to change place. So I get them off. I send to back to the other needle this pearl stitch and I bring the knit stitch. Now I have two knit stitches side by side. Now two pearls, here they are in place so I just purl them. Here again I need to start with the knit stitch. I need, but here I need second knit stitch. but. For that I just change places and I continue and here and, and like that until end of the row and, and you will have ribbing two by two. This is an example of how Italian cast on tubular cast on looks like. It's quite stretchy, but holds the shape. And now I will show you what to do if you want to join the Italian cast on with tubular edge in the round. If you want to knit in the round and you want to use this tubular cast on, then what my advice would be, uh, first do all these uh, two setup rows, cast on and two setup rows for tubular edge uh, flat. I don't advise to use Italian cast on and then immediately to join it in for knitting in the round because you, especially if you have a lot of stitches on the needles you will definitely get lost and the cast on row will get twisted and it will be very painful and actually unnecessary. So my advice is to knit flat 
the needed amount of stitches and um, after that you just join them in the round as usual this stage it will be easier to look if the edge is twisted or not and this stage you should be careful about that so and um, one more thing you will need to twist like sort of inside out and if you want and if you want to continue with ribbing two by two you do the same procedures I showed you before with um, changing the with changing the stitches now I did the first knit stitch in the two by two ribbing now I need to find second one I just switch them I take them both off and the purl stitch goes onto left hand needle and the knit stitch is here and I continue knit I have two knit stitches and I just um, the gap which here I will show you at the end how to close it and it will be invisible and you just continue knitting ribbing two by two again here is knit stitch but the next one here is as you see a pearl stitch but I need the knit stitch so I just change them you can do like this if you are not afraid of losing stitches and I have the knit stitch again and here I have two pearl stitches and continue this way until end of the row after you knitted some rows this how ribbing 2 by 2 looks with the tubular cast on using Italian cast on method and now as remember we have a gap left here this is the yarn tail I already threaded it into my darning needle and to close the gap I use the mixture of Kitchener stitch or mm, some other suitable stitch uh, to make it as invisible so what I do it always is a little bit trying what looks good and what's not for example this is good enough in my opinion and then I just try to close it as invisible as possible for example this is good enough and then I just secure the end and fasten off and there you go thanks for watching please press like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will see you next time bye